Okay, so here behind me, we have the William Oxley Thompson Library, which as you can guess, is named after William Oxley Thompson, which fun fact, I just found that out today, he was actually an ordained minister. So if you were lucky enough to be walking the streets of campus at the same time as Mr. Thompson, he actually could have married you and your lover. So this is actually the biggest library that we have here on campus. There's 11 stories. Um, it gets quieter as you go up. So the 11th floor is gonna be the quietest. Great for studying for those midterms, for those exams, for that really important homework that you have. Um, the 11th floor is also really cool because it has a great view of Columbus, a great view of campus. You can really see everything up there. So I would recommend that you check it out if you can. Um, another fun fact, there's actually a bust of William Oxley Thompson in the front of the library that you have to rub his head before you go in or else he will fail all of your exams or something of that sort. Uh, we have a lot of different wives tales like that. For example, if you look over here on the oval, you have this walk and rumor has it, if you hold hands from the beginning of this straightaway in the oval all the way to the beginning of the library, you and your lover will get married and fall in love and have a happily ever after. So enough about that, back to the library. There's a lot of cool things that you can do here. For example, a lot of people like to do their homework, meet up with friends, do some studying. My favorite place to do that within the library is Berry Cafe. Um, it's one of the many cafes we have here on campus. Um, they have great smoothies, great coffee, great place to study, great place to chat. I think it's really awesome.